Can you uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and your company? Yeah. Uh, sure. Hi, everyone. This is Roland from Myotex. Uh, so actually, I came up from a very technical background. I, I got my PhD in cryptography from U Waterloo, I think, 10 years back. And then I joined Google, stayed there for a couple of years, leading the security team. Then I joined Uber, leading the crypto team. Then I just found this company called Iotex last year with two, uh, two co-founders. So yeah, so that's about me, about the company. Why did you guys start this? Uh, oh, yeah, we actually started last year around July. So uh, actually, me and my co-founders has been like discussing this idea. Started uh, maybe January last year, and uh, we were just doing all the planning, all the brainstorming, and all the preparation. And starting from June, uh, we, we feel like we are mature enough to get everything started. So that's why we found the company. We called, quit a job, and we just flew in, into the IOTEX. Yeah. So like... Uh, What's your vision for Altex? Do you want to connect everything together? Yeah, that's, I, like, yeah, that's a yeah. very good question. Thanks yeah. for asking, actually. Uh, so IOTEX vision is try to connect the physical world block by block. So because like if you look at the IoT, IoT is great, right? Yeah. But still, like IoT never takes off. Why? We think there are three problems. One is like IoT is too like devices are too expensive for uh, massive adoption. And second, like the IoT, there is really no scalable infrastructure, especially for small um, manufacturers. Like for Google, Amazon, they are, they are fine. Like they have their whole team doing infrastructure. But for small like uh, hardware manufacturers, like lots of them are in Shenzhen, for example, like they really, really don't have like this uh, infrastructure to, to, to develop the, their application on top of, right? And third one is privacy. Basically, IoT has no privacy today at all, right? If you know like the Facebook leak recently, if you heard about something uh, I think happened last year to one of the, the credit uh, union here. Um, so that's, that's, that's the three problems IoT is facing. And we do think like uh, by introduce uh, blockchain, by introduce crypto uh, economy could solve some of the problem. Uh, <clears throat> so that's why we started to look at this idea, blockchain plus IoT. Uh, which seems make sense, but if you look at the blockchain solution so far, no matter Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything, they, they are great project, but they were never designed for IoT. They will never work for IoT. For example, like they are too heavy to store, too heavy yeah. to compute, right? That's, that's, that's not going to work. So that's why we, we need a like, blockchain that is totally different from existing blockchain, where we can just design or optimize the implementation for IoT applications. So that's, that's our vision. That's why we are here. All right. That's cool. So, like, uh, can, you, can you tell us why we're here at the Berkeley Blockchain Career Fair? Yeah, yeah. sure. Like, 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 like Alex asked, we, we uh, found a com company last year around June, and uh, we finished a big round of fundraising this year, January. Like, everything just sold out within one week, and we raised uh, like, a big amount of money. That's where we start to expand. We have, like, a, a four, co actually, five core team members before that. Uh, but after we got money, we decided to expand the team because we do need more talented people to join us on this great journey. We need engineers, we need like our content creators, community managers, uh, scientists, researchers, everyone. Yeah. So that's that's why we're here today. We are trying to uh, just trying to hire some really great people from from Berkeley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how would you describe your I like a uh, ideal employee. What characteristics, you know, do we have? Oh yeah, like she or he must be a true believer in blockchain, right? I yeah. think that's that's the number one rule for us. Uh, because if she or he doesn't have this belief, uh, doesn't have this passion, then everything else is just nonsense, right? So I think like we, we really want people who want to put themselves like the next five to 10 years into the blockchain industry because it's a really young industry for now and it will grow. It will grow definitely to a very big market from now on. So that's why we need, but, but there will be some like a bear market, maybe bull market in between. So, so that's why we, we really need people who believe in this, who will never give up even the market is not doing great. <laughs> 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 right, to, to join yeah. us with this yeah. journey. So yeah. that's, that's the number one rule. Like, uh, what's the hiring process like, you know? Yeah, um, right. So because uh, most of our employees are from Google, Facebook, so uh, act and Uber as well. So that's why we are following the Google, Facebook, Uber rule. So we do like maybe one round of, we, we have like an initial call with the candidate first, trying to discuss like 
expectation, what he or she is looking for, what we can provide, either in a like, culture fit or not. If everything goes well, we are going to, for technical roles, we are going to do maybe one round of phone uh, coding screen. If everything goes well, then we just invite the candidate on site. We will have another maybe four or five sessions, maybe one on coding, one on system design, and two other on behavior questions, culture fit, founders talk, everything else. If everything goes well, we just give you the offer. Yeah, that's, that's pretty straightforward. I think all the com like, uh, IT companies here follow the same rule. For non-tech roles, that might be different. Uh, for example, like for the content creators, we want you to maybe provide some samples you did before. Uh, in terms of like a blog post, uh, I don't know, like uh, maybe a video clip, uh, maybe some pictures, so on and so forth. And if that's great, uh, we will maybe ask you to do maybe a small task for us, like a write a maybe blog post for us, or maybe just do something very small, like translation even, or maybe some talking with community. Yeah, just like a trial task. If everything goes well, we, we can yeah bring you on board. That's that's the typical process we follow for now. So, how would you describe your company culture? You know. Yeah, the culture is really friendly, I would say, um, because like, I personally from from Google and my uh, one of my co-founder is from Facebook. So basically, we are trying to follow the cultures. Uh, from these companies, basically to treat employees really well, and to encourage them to uh, to do the work while enjoying life. Right. So we are not pushing you really hard on working. You should drive yourself, and we will provide you uh, a chance to success here. But we will also like give you uh, f freedom if you have like families to be taken care of. For example, if you have something else to 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 do, that's that's all fine. We basically we want uh, this very healthy culture f uh, for this very very small company for now, um, from day one. Because we do think like the culture is like an internal force which will drive the company grow and expand in an organic way. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, where do you see your company in like a year or like five years? You know. Yeah, um, right. Uh, actually, we do have the plan to um, to e expand the company to roughly maybe 15 to 20 people by end of this year, um, where we can achieve the goal of maybe, for example, launching the mainnet and uh, have like a first one or two IoT apps running on top of IoT networks. And for maybe next three, five years, uh, I think uh, the company may, maybe will grow to, I don't know, maybe 50, 100 people. That really depends. Because like blockchain company is so different from like startup because blockchain is really depends on the community, right? Like community will do lots of, for, lots of things yeah. for you. Like they can write the code for you. They have good ideas. They will throw it to you. Uh, also, they will hold your token for sure. Hmm. <laughs> lots of things. Yeah. Uh, they will create good content for you, right? So that's why I, I feel like Blockchain company won't be like a very huge in terms of number of employees, but it will be huge in terms of its impact through the community. Yeah. So that's that's the thing I'm I feel like. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So like, huh? If like if someone were interested in joining a company, what advice would you give to him or her? You know. Mm -hmm. What advice? Yeah, I would advise the candidate maybe to take a, for, uh, take a look at our uh, website first, our white paper, the code we are actually going to release on this Friday. It's a very preliminary implementation of IoTX network. Feel free, right? Especially if, if you are applying for a technical role, basically look at the code, try to tell me like, what did I do wrong? How can you improve? Can you do better, right? In this way or in that way? So, um, so I think that's that's a, that's the first thing we want a candidate to do, basically to care about the company, to care about the blockchain industry first, and then we can we can talk more about like how do we do an interview process, how do we negotiate offers, so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Like, hmm, what's the issue? What's the biggest issue? Like, the biggest challenge that you're facing right now? You know that mm -hmm. you're fa yeah. Right. So. Um, so I feel like the blockchain company is very different be because they are basically a public company from day one. Compared to a, like a traditional Silicon Valley startup, right? Like they will maybe just raise a small round of funding 
from day one, they will do the dev uh, research for maybe one or two years, and eventually form a product and try to sell the product to either like an individual or the business and trying to get some profit. If that goes well, they will expand, hire more people, have more top product, eventually they hit IPO. That's where they are just open to the public. Everybody knows this company, for example, Google, right? Everybody knows Google is doing search, especially after, after its IPO. But blockchain companies looks very different. Um, it's basically a, cup, it's a very uh, public, uh, I, I should say maybe transparent from day one. Like, community and uh, other people there there know like what you're doing what is your vision and how you how you are getting there um, so that basically also gives us some lots of headaches right because you have to communicate with um, with your community very clearly about what you're doing and how you can get there and also you have to maybe give them some hope because you know, like sometimes doing research and de development, they take some time. Yeah. Maybe you, you take like one year, two year, who knows, right? But but during which you you will need to have to give the hope to your supporters to to convince them to continue to support you down the road. So that's that's basically the very ch challenging part, yeah. right? How how could you convince them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I think like a uh, blockchain company is is challenging. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. For example, like. We have community managers for different regions of the world. Like we have one awesome lady who's a community manager for Russian. Yeah. He basically, I or maybe my team, we will just tell her like what we're doing, what's our vision and mission, like short term and long term goal and milestones. And she just will like try to broadcast uh, to, the Ru to the Russian community. And we also have one in China who's trying to build this Chinese community and the career is getting started right now. So we will need some people to try to like uh, send out the message yeah. for us. It's pretty like this P2P network, right? It's just yeah, like yeah. a peer-to-peer -peer talking with each other. What's the one message you want to spread, you know? Uh -huh. What's the one message you want to spread? Yeah, like, like I said, IOTEX is trying to connect the physical world block by block. That's a very big uh, vision, also very challenging task. Just give us some time, and we will not let you down, right? Uh -huh. Thanks. I think we're on time right now so we have to wrap it up okay, thank sure. you Roland yeah yeah any last words you want to say yeah I would say like uh, please take a look at our website trying to talk with the team like they are pretty much here uh, in this event and if you're really interested just drop us uh, maybe a line or maybe your resume and we can we will be glad to have conversations with you and thank you thanks all right thanks bye-bye yeah.